Okay, sorry guys, this is part two of the review. Now basically, um, where we, where I'm going to leave off right where we left off um, in part one, but um, uh, I had a phone call I had to get and it kind of cut off the phone, kind of cut off the video, but anyway, we get a, right after that, they they go after Tetch, Jim get finds where Tetch is, and um, he's like, Tetch, shut up, <laughs> and he grabs Tetch, because Tetch is in the middle of talking, um, through the radio, and he throws him up against the wall, and he goes, oh, well, my hands are tied, so guess what he does, he shoots him in the hand, shoots him in the hand, and then, and the reason why he's doing all this, he, and Tetch tells him, you took my Alice away from me. You gave me no choice. So now I'm going to make you have no choices. So uh, so he's doing this just to get back at Jim. Um, so what he um, does then is he says that you can't do anything. And if you tell them any other th anything else, the, if you tell them to stop or not jump, they'll jump. So what he does is he sits there. Jim just sits there. He doesn't know what to do. And all the other people is like, what should we do? What should we do? And he gets on the mic and he says, save. I can't save you. Save each other. And what do you know it? Everyone saved each other, which was awesome. Because if all those people, died, that would have been a lot of people dead. Thousands, thousands of Hundreds of thousands dead. Um, but then uh, I want to delve into also probably my most favorite part of the episode and probably my most frustrating part um, was the introduction, the introductory, should I say, the introduction of the League of Shadows, the League of Assassins. Ra's al Ghul's League of Assassins and the Demon's Head, which Barbara is in the new Demon's Head. Which, wait a minute, I thought he wanted to make a make Bruce his successor. He does, but he wanted to go through Barbara first because Bruce is not ready. Um, because the army is still small. His League of Assassins is still small at this point. So what he did um, is uh, he did some... Uh, I've just, I'm have just i just so confused with this. how they discovered the head of the demon. She now has this weird light power where she raises her hand in the air and light shines from it. It makes no sense. I don't know how that's an actual thing. I'm thinking it's from the Lazarus... Enzyme water that may gave her that ability that she did that. I mean, because Razalgo obviously does not have magic abilities. He's never had magic abilities. I, I just don't understand that, but I, I'll roll with it. Um, Barbara is the, the head of the demon. I don't as as the demon's head. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I kind of, she's kind of like a secondary character to me. I understand they're trying to push her into more of a main role then. So I kind of understand that. So that makes sense. But why? You know? Um, but it's whatever. There was all these assassins there. And, um, the ones questioning her are saying, is, is she the head of the demon? Uh, what was Ra's al Ghul even thinking? And then this lady's saying um, this stuff that she had to have that ability for a reason. Um, and saying about how a woman can't lead the League of Assassins, blah, blah, blah. Well, then he tur she turns around, turns the blade on him, and stabs him in the chest. Killing him. And then um, as she all these other people are getting ready to kill Barbara... Um, the lights flicker, and all you hear is gunshots, and there's five women standing in a row. There are the League of Assassins, the sisters of the demon's head, so they called themselves. And I'm telling you, one of them is Lady, the main one that walked out. I know for a matter of fact, I know who that is. That's Lady Shiva. 
Lady Shiva, and if you guys know who Lady Shiva is, um, it's one of his his lieutenants and main um, female uh, trainees or trainers from um, the uh, League of Assassins, and I I really think that's who they are. I hope they delve into the names and stuff and find out who they really are. But my speculation is that's Lady Shiva. Now, I. I do like how she was she's taking to this power role really well. So I kind of I kind of like that. Um but um uh, then it all um what was it? Then then we have a moment where um Bruce after it's all done after they get Tetch and everything, Bruce calls Jim, which I does he I don't think he knows about the vigilante thing. He just knows about Jerome. And he knows he has this thing for Jerome. But you think he would piece two and two together at that point and realize... I mean, he hasn't really seen the Vigilante much of yet, so he probably hasn't realized that he is the Vigilante. So it, I don't think they want to give too much away. But anyway, um, he tells him that he's going after Jerome. And he told him, no, don't do that, don't do that. He goes, I guess you can yell at me when I get there. Um... And they run off to go help him. And then as Tetch is being carted off away back to Arkham Asylum, wouldn't you know, Scarecrow in his brand new outfit, which is my favorite. Oh, I love his new outfit. Um, uh, sprays the driver. And Jerome pops in and they take, they, they, they take the bus away and, and what do you know? They're off, and then the episode ends. But um, then the preview for next episode looks amazing. We're getting Firefly back. Uh, Mister Freeze is coming back. A lot of characters are coming back. Apparently, this and the Riddler is gonna make a return. It seems like all these characters, all these villains, are are I were all of them in. Uh, we're gonna find out tomorrow uh, next week. Were all these villains in league with Jerome? Were all these people, like, together with him? How did that work? Like, what? Like, I want to know. I really want to know next week. Were they all together with him? Or are they just for hire and he just hired them? I don't know. But we're going to get Firefly back. We're going to get Mr. Freeze, Riddler, and Penguin is going to somehow come into the fold with Jerome. Um, I don't know why, but we're going to get that big villain team up, and we're going to find out who Jerome is looking for next episode. Why did he get that address? Why did he get all that? And I think what I speculate is, I think it's this family member that he's looking for, um, the one, a successor that he's looking for, because I think what he wants is he, we're going to have a Joker by the end of I think by by season's end, we're going to have a Joker, a actual Joker, um, not Jerome. I think Jerome, they're going to kill off Jerome, and they're going to make this person who looks li literally identical to Jerome, um, every way, shape, and form. Even Cameron Monaghan's going to be playing as him, um, as the Joker, and he's going to take over. Um, and he's going to be different than Jerome, but he's going to take up his persona. I, I honestly think that's what's going to happen. I have been proven wrong before, but we'll see what happens. Um, and I want to see what Riddler's role in all of this is. Maybe it's just that they just threw him in there to throw you off. Um... And I did say Penguin in there, so maybe he he even said we still need one more person. Is that one more person Penguin? Is that who he's looking for? And he even said, "I'm looking for my creme de la crazy." Is that why he's looking for his family? Is that why? Because he failed with Penguin? I don't know, but um, we're gonna find out here next episode, and I'm super excited for that, this season has been great, um, I'm loving it so far, I hope you guys are loving this review, and love this review, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, what your favorite episode, part of the episode was, 
what you liked most about the episode, um, what your speculations are for the future episodes coming up, and what you think is going to happen with the whole Jerome situation and all that. And if you like this big villain team up we're finally having, because that means we're getting closer and closer to bat actual Batman here. I really think we're going to see him by season five because newsflash Gotham got renewed for season five yes I was very worried I didn't think we were gonna have a season five but we have a season five and it's getting renewed yes but anyway I'll see you guys in the next video this is all the time I have and as always I hope you have all have a great Easter too by the way this is uh being recorded around Easter so um and as always stay awesome my dark knights